Chuck, we got another explainer coming right at you. All right. All look, right. Look so that. you've looked you've looked up at the night sky before. I have indeed. All right. And and you've been perhaps prompted from time to time to no- notice what the press would bill as a planetary alignment of note. There was a big one that happened that was on the news some time ago, uh, uh, last year. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It so, was so, huge. Everybody was talking about it. Everybody's talking about it. Yeah. Everybody, did you see it? No, I didn't, to be honest. Okay, of course you didn't. Okay. <laughs> that's my point. I'm going to be honest. I did not see it. Uh, you did not see it. You they did not they see made it. a giant deal out of it, and I was like, okay. Okay, so if I say the planets are aligned, what would that mean to you? What do you think that means? Well, for me, like just the intuitive thought would be that you go out, look up, and you see a line of dots in the sky, the like they're in, you know, in queue to come, you know, get some ice cream or something. In like a that. line, okay. in a line, planetary alignment. Okay, so, so put a pin in that and consider the following. Okay, okay, we have the sun in the middle of its own star system, the solar system. And first out, we have Mercury. Then you have Venus. Then you have Earth. Then you have Mars. Then you have Jupiter. Then you have Saturn. And then you have Uranus and Neptune. Okay? Right. Do you realize that all of those planets orbit the sun in about the same plane? Right. Okay? Mm -hmm. So we're like one giant pizza pie Mm -hmm. with the sun in the middle. Okay. Okay. So far, so good. Oh, by the way, Pluto orbits 30 degrees out of that plane. One of the many reasons why it does not belong among us. Well, you know, because Pluto is just like, look, I've marched to the beat of my own drum. <laughs> okay. okay. That don't mean that. So I'm therefore, Pluto. you are your own damn thing. <laughs> you got your own. <laughs> Pluto has its own rhythms for sure. Right. All right. So. So everybody is orbiting in the same plane, plane, a geometric plane, flattened plane around the solar system. And by the way, everybody's moving in the same direction, which was a deep hint for us to tell us how the solar system formed. Okay? It was like, do these planets sort of fly in randomly? Well, if they did, then they'd have random orbits around the sun. Right. And then um, some going forward, some going, quote, backwards. So they're all going the same direction and all in the same plane. And so it was concluded, this is now thinking that's been 250 years ago, that maybe we started from a big gas cloud that collapsed into this pancake, and in that pancake, the planets formed with the sun in the middle. That gets you everybody orbiting in the same Same direction direction. and in the same plane. plane. Okay, so now let's go down to Earth and look up into the sky. Where are you going to find all the planets? Are you? Are they going to be everywhere in the sky? No. No. They're, they're going to be on the same plane. They're going to be on the you are. same plane as we are. Okay. So, not only that, at any given moment, at night, you're looking at half the sky. Right. So, on average. Half the stuff is going to be in the sky when you're looking up. On average. Right. Half the stuff. Okay. Because we are on a ball. And so. You look at one side. You look at one side of the ball and you see half of what's out there. You're seeing half the sky. Because the other side of the ball is looking at the other half of what's out there. Half the sky. Okay. And And you got to wait till it's nighttime for them. But they see the other half. Okay. All right. Half the sky. So, point is, of the planets, including the moon, okay, which is also tilted a little out of the plane, but not enough to be important for this example. And the sun is in the plane, almost by definition, because we're all orbiting the sun, okay? So, the cl- the classical planets of antiquity which are all the objects that moved against the background stars, that wandered. The Greek word for wanderer is planetes, which is where we get the word planet. Planet. And and there were seven planets. The sun, the moon, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. 
and the seven days of the week, the names we give to the seven days of the week are traceable to the gods that oversaw those days dating back to Greek and Roman mythologies. Uh, We've also touched with Norse mythologies. So the Norse counterpart gods to the Greek and Roman gods share the same day. Okay. Okay. So Thursday is whose day? Thor. Thor. Thor wheels the lightning bolt. Mm -hmm. Who in Roman legend wheels lightning bolt? Uh, Zeus. Zeus. Well, Zeus is is Greek. The Greek. Uh, Jupiter Jupiter is Roman. Roman. So, so if you look at the Romance languages, the word for Thursday is named for Jupiter. Okay. And uh, what is it Uh, in in Spanish? No Spanish. Um, uh, Lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves. Jueves, that's Ju- that's Jupiter. Gotcha. Okay, it's named for Jupiter. That's why all the names of the days of the week are capitalized. They're named after actual gods and planets and things. Okay, point is, all of these objects in any given night are always in a line. <laughs> Period. Right. <laughs> So it's, yeah. I don't know how else to bring the news to you. We are in the plane of the solar system and we're looking out and we see other objects in the plane of the solar system. And if you take a circle, put it on its side, it's a line. There you go. So it's, it's, it's a news story that happens every single night. Every- <laughs> Today in the news, planetary alignment <laughs> once again. <laughs> once again. So w- the way they try to bump it up is if some planets are a little closer to each other in our sight line than at other months. Okay. So if they're a little closer, then you don't have to sort of turn your head along the line to see them. You might catch them in one glimpse. Okay. okay fine. Generally, that is what they want to call planetary alignments, but it leaves people thinking that planets are not aligned at any other time, whereas they are always aligned. Right. Period. Period. Yes. Period. This and the it. moon is among them. And the moon, too. The moon is among right. them. So in any given night, if you see the moon over here on the right and Venus over there on the left make an arc between them and complete that arc across the sky. Look for other planets on that arc. And and you'll you'll, find them. them. You'll find them. You'll find Jupiter, Saturn. And if not that half of the night, wait till the other half of the night. Right. Okay. Mm. Our top story tonight. Once again, the planets decided to line up. (laughs) For our pet film at 11. Okay. (laughs) Now here's something else they do. They'll say, uh, the planets are aligned, and they will, this lineup will not repeat for another 150,000 years. That's the one that happened last year that everybody was going crazy. So, I mean, uh, you, so you want to put that on your calendar. That's not going to repeat for another 150,000 years. Well, by the way, every night will not repeat, repeat for another 150,000 years. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, you can calculate what the it's. The point is, it's possible for something to be rare and completely uninteresting. Right. Because every night is equally as rare. Exactly. Hey, if we're all special, nobody's special. Then nobody's special. (laughs) Right. We knew that. We learned that from The Incredibles. Right. So I I just try to put, people say, oh, you're such a downer. I put it on, you know, on social media. Well, you're such a downer. I like looking up. There are other reasons to look up. Right. Okay. I don't have to fake a reason for you to look up. Um, you know, the asteroid might be coming. Why don't you look up for that? All right. No, no, don't look up. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that documentary. That's a, oh, very a documentary. <laughs> don't look up. <laughs> that's funny. That was funny. <laughs> so that's all I got to say about, about the planetary um, alignment. Planetary alignments. Yeah. Just chill. Yeah. Chill. There you go, guys. So the, it's, it's BS. Basically. <laughs> and because we're orbiting the sun. We're always getting new angles on how everybody's aligned. And it's always, right. it's always new, and it's not going to repeat for hundreds of thousands of years, but every single day is that. So, you know, there it is. By the way, awesome. there is something called a conjunction. Oh. Which sounds like you need ointment for it. What's a function? 
<laughs> yeah, conjunction. I got some ointment for fix your conjunction. You right. right. Uh, a conjunction. Make sure is, you wash your hands if you get a conjunction. <laughs> okay. Conjunction is you get like three planets, and I'll include the moon among them as a classical planet that wanders against the. By the way, they they call them wanderers because they didn't understand the physics of gravity. Right. Right. After Newton, they. They're not wandering at all. They know exactly right. what they're doing. Exactly. Right. We actually okay. know where they're going. And, the, and so do they, right? Right. <laughs> so nobody's wandering. So, so a conjunction is when you have at least three objects that are in the same part of the sky where you can, like, you know, look through binoculars and all of them are in one v field of view. We call those conjunctions. Those are worth coming out to check out. Okay, cool. But this notion that of alignment, no. And it's even made it into our language. Oh, uh, things are going so well, the planets must have aligned, right? It's, it's, it's worked its way into our culture. And so you say, yeah, things work out for me all the time because, in fact, the planets are always aligned. Mm, exactly. Yeah. Also, I'm the master of my own fate, you know. <laughs> uh, I would there like to is. thank me. <laughs> <laughs> no no you get the you know the boxer who wins and say thank god right for like for the ability to pummel your other person yeah. so they should go to the other person and is they saying i blame god for the <laughs> exactly what? Guess a thank god god like, hates somebody, me <laughs> somebody else ought to get to right. blame god yeah right? i lost because god hates me okay, <laughs> okay. it's that simple <laughs> If God liked me, I wouldn't be here right now. Yeah. All right. So this has been another explainer. Jeff. Nice. All right. Take that to the bank. You got it. This has been another Star Talk explainer. Neil deGrasse Tyson here. As always, keep looking up. <laughs>